New directors usually start small, but not RZA. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of The Man with the Iron Fists. When you forge a weapon, you need three things. The right metal, temperatures over 1400 degrees, and someone who wants to kill. Here in Jungle Village, we got all three. That's right, all you just saw was done by a first-time director. Pretty impressive. Then again, RZA has been developing this film since 2003, when he produced the soundtrack for Kill Bill. RZA even flew to the Kill Bill set in China at his own expense so he could study Tarantino at work. The influence obviously comes through. But you'll also note a hint of Eli Roth as the horror guru also helped RZA develop his feature debut. Now it's at this point that aspiring filmmakers will want to study RZA at work. Despite being highly accomplished in the music industry, RZA didn't just walk up to a studio and demand a deal. First, he directed a kung fu short, again in his own expense, which he showed to the studios as part of his pitch. Impressed by his business prowess, and really who wouldn't be at this point, Universal agreed to let RZA stop spending his own money and gave him $20 million to make a movie. Then, as is the style these days, RZA shot his film entirely in China and teamed up with another successful filmmaker, this time Corey Yoon, who handled all the fight choreography. Unbelievably, RZA also stars in the film, but again, he also teams up with some noted professionals, Russell Crowe and Lucy Liu. Two MMA fighters also star, as well as one model. But while RZA has certainly worked hard to make The Man with the Iron Fists, does he have the innate talent which is also crucial to becoming a successful filmmaker? After all, this could just be the greatest Tarantino cover movie ever made. Let's go find out. Is this a good movie on its own, or is it just like a Quentin Tarantino cover film? It's a Quentin Tarantino wannabe. Oh, okay. This is RZA's film. Oh, how so? I mean, how do, you see, how do you see shades of RZA in The Man with the Iron Fists? One, the soundtrack. Two, the theme. I mean, come on, Wu-Tang Clan. I thought it was going to be just one of those crazy karate, kung fu, kung fu, everybody flying movies. But it was like, it had it had format to it. It had, it had, oh, it was, it was excellent. I kind of enjoyed it. I found it... Kind of funny. Okay, kind of, kind of. How about you? Um, I don't really like gory movies, but I was like, okay. We had some people who didn't like the film. Mm -hmm. What do you think they're not getting about it? Well, you know what? I'm a child of 60s, so I'm into the original kung fu karate movies. I would say the gang's all here. If you've seen Hong Kong action movies, it's got everything you might want, but it doesn't have anything that's really that special about it. Mm. I enjoyed the fighting scenes. I thought they were very well done. I didn't think the acting was that good, though. Oh, okay. It was yeah. kind of... Well, yeah. Russell Crowe and Lucy Liu, are they slumming here? What do you think? Oh, yeah, um, a little bit. Lucy Liu actually went to my high school, so... Oh, that's cool. I can't cool. really say she's slumming. Russell Crowe got fat, uh, <laughs> you know, and he seems to be having a campy good old time. And Russell Crowe, to me, he was my favorite character as Jackknife. Oh, really? Pretty yeah? much just the, whole, just the whole outside Englishman just, you know, he's like... <laughs> so what? It was quality and quantity. It was I enough like action. It was enough. It was. It, it had a plot. Especially with um, the man of the Iron Fist narration, that's what made the movie interesting. So you like the legend, yes. right? Would you say it's a must see, a should see, a can see, or a don't see? I think it's a can see. Yeah, can a must see. I would say this is a should see. I would say it's a can see. I would not say by any means it's a must see. Okay, great. Wait for Django Unchained for the oh, must see. Yeah. The real right. Tarantino. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna like make jokes during it, it's good. But if you're not, it's probably not the best movie for you. I gotta give it an eight out of ten. Definitely ten. I'd give it about a six. Well, like a six? Six? Like a three point seven. So as you can see, audiences are all over the map when it comes to the man with the iron fists, and the film gets an average score of six. I'm Grace Randolph, reporting from Regal Ewok, and I hope we'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.